Hello everybody, my name is Promise, and welcome back to more Bio Ink Redemption. Let's jump back into the sandbox mode. I think we're gonna be going for death this time around. That could certainly be pretty fun for me. Um, try to change things up a little bit from last time. The goal, of course, is to terminate the patient, and that means just doing as much damage to the various different systems as possible. I'm gonna reduce the amount of time we have, let's say to 300 days, and see how well that works. Can't quite get the number I wanted there, so we'll go ahead and type it out. Uh, AI difficulty, I'll leave it at three. Last time the AI was actually fairly competent. No real problem there. I'm gonna increase the number of bio points we start with. I would like to get a slight resource boost because I feel like we weren't getting quite enough points last time. Or actually, maybe, you know what? Less points, but at least we can harvest them a smidge faster. I think that'll be all right. System health, go ahead and leave them all very nice and healthy and every other defined risk factor. I'm not gonna mess with any of these right now. I think I'd rather just see what the AI decides to do. All right, so our goal this time, kill the patient as horrifically as possible. This is nowhere near as challenging to me. I mean, yeah, you have to try and outrun the AI, but getting a lot of risk factors together first can be pretty huge. Keep in mind, of course, we only have 300 days, so I can't be too um, lax in how I'm trying to do this, but at least a few of these would be nice. For example, I find that often going for the circulatory system is pretty darn powerful if we wanted to go for some hereditary issues and also make our patient a smoker, that could be good. Also makes all the diseases in these relevant uh, systems a little bit cheaper for me to pick up. So I think honestly, just if the AI hasn't done anything with you, going for stuff that increases the risk so you do more damage once you make your decision and also make them all cheaper is often pretty great. So we're gonna say that you're a smoker and you're overweight. There we go. These things are going to make you very easy for me to kill. Eventually, probably. Uh, I like the extra harvesting power. Oh, shouldn't have had that bogo. Oh man, you got yourself a little bit of a gut. Welcome to America. This is basically how it goes at all times. <laughs> It's unfortunate, really. Uh, I do like myself a good hamburger, though, so I can't really, I can't really be judged too much. Could go for obesity, of course. The extra circulatory damage and potential respiratory damage means that circulatory and respiratory will be very good targets for me in the future. Muscular, nervous system, these are all quite good as well. Uh, malnutrition is nice, but probably not what I'm looking for. I think we will go ahead and just make you outright obese. Go ahead and eat two burgers at the same time. Vroom. And she just shrugs, just like, meh. I don't even care. I don't even care. Gosh dang it. Oh, you make me sad. You make me horribly, horribly sad. Look at all these points coming in, though. Me likey. Getting a lot. All right, 12 points there. Do you want any more risk factors? I mean, yeah, I think going for sedentary makes sense. Um, of course, it uh, reduces the ch uh, cost of some musculatory system stuff, so now we would have the option of going for circulatory, respiratory, and muscular, and just tag teaming between the three and probably kill the patient that way. Um, but yeah, sedentary is quite good. We could also make you a junk food addict, which makes circulatory even cheaper. Which is nice, but you can see we're really stacking this up. Now, if the AI is smart, what they'll do is start getting together a lot of points with the intention of uh, trying to get some uh, better lifestyles for the patient to counteract some of what I'm doing, but I don't think they're that smart. Let's go ahead and pick up, I guess, the blood clots. Make that our first one. We probably can go for a hypertension as well. Uh, and I guess I could go for the high cholesterol if we wanted to. I've got six points to work with still, though. Malnutrition, probably gonna skip on that. I think we will go for the junk food addict. Let's go ahead and start doing a little bit of damage. Now remember that if the AI does ever uh, diagnose and cure something, everything further in the tree gets blocked out. So if you find out that the AI is about to uh, discover that they have blood clots, we may wanna go ahead and grab the D-vein thrombosis quickly to prevent them from cutting me off from something that I know is gonna be doing a lot of muscular system damage, especially since I've already invested quite a bit and making sure we get some really good muscular system uh, risk factors. Junk food several times a day. Oh, you've upgraded to not just a burger, but also a soda. Yep, soda, the insidious killer. It's got so much freaking sugar in it, it's ridiculous, honestly. Have you gained even more weight? Mm, I think you have. Not that I'm trying to fat shame here, it's just uh, you realize that you are literally asking for your own death. Let's go for some high cholesterol, throw the AI off a little bit. If you want to pick up angina and stuff in the future, we can certainly do that. Workaholic is nice, probably not absolutely necessary. Let's go for hereditary and double up even more. So those tiny little uh, infections that we have picked up in the circulatory system now should result in uh, our patient taking a lot of damage. Now, the, doc the patient in question hasn't even gone to the doctor yet. That's why we're not seeing any diagnoses. Once the patient starts to feel kind of sick, they will go to the doctor automatically. Uh, as far as recovery and stuff, we could try to delay that a little bit. I'm gonna say that you have nosocomophobia, which is gonna mean that the victim is less likely to go to the doctor in the first place, and I sympathize with this. I personally do suffer from quite a bit of medical anxiety ever since I had my 
uh, liver issues and uh, appendix issues, and they found that little cancerous tumor and stuff like that in myself. I've always had a bit of medical anxiety, so I totally understand it. I don't go to the doctor myself as much as I probably should. Then again, I can also just say that the excuse is the American medical system is so expensive that I'm not going to go anyway, right? That's the excuse that I'm going to go ahead and give. Yeah, why not? I don't have nosocomophobia whatsoever. Anyway, though, by inflicting that upon their patients, we are certainly making things a little bit easier. I am going to be going for a potassium deficiency just to throw off the potential AI with some more symptoms so that I will be able to go for things like deep vein thrombosis and hopefully they won't figure out what's going on. We could also give them some bronchitis or maybe the flu or something like that. Um, those are certainly options. Also, maybe something like um, polycystic uh, ovary syndrome. This does give them menstrual irregularity, uh, irregularities and some weight gain. But it does a little bit of damage to the nervous system. Mm, you know, actually, no. I think that I think that if we don't pick up anything else, the AI will hone in on menstrual irregularities very, very rapidly, and that's not going to work well for me. Let's go for the urinary incontinence. That'll do a little bit more damage in a totally different system. See what happens there. What we really want to do is just go hard on the circulatory system, so we should probably stock up some points and wait for the patient to go to the doctor. Know, though, that I only have 200 days left, so let's be very, very cognizant of that. Don't want to miss out on any of these points. Thank you very much. Got to grab every single one of them. 16 DNA. Um, could go for the deep vein thrombosis now. Could also go for a brain aneurysm. That's a thing. We could actually swap over to a risk factor like workaholic and make them take a lot of extra damage. We could also go for morbidly obese, which is an unbelievably powerful risk factor. Makes everything super duper vulnerable. Yeah, I'll pick that up before they go to the doctor. Why not? That just means that whenever I get points, they'll just be that much more effective when the time comes to go in for the kill. Obviously, the faster I kill this patient, though, probably the better. Let's go ahead and grab the deep vein thrombosis. It's super duper cheap right now. post lipidic syndrome, a bit more expensive at 11 DNA, and that's, um... Oh, we're going to the doctor. All right, so the symptoms are worsening, and now Jane goes to the doctor. This is kind of like having severity in Plague Inc., you know? Same kind of concept. Anyway, we got a few points coming in here. If I can get up to 11, I'd happily pick up the post -flibitic. Now that they're already going to the doctor, I mean, that's a thing. Like, they're going to start working on diagnoses pretty soon. They're working on the ultrasounds. Now, here's the thing. I know with the ultrasounds that they're going to get both of these. Uh, what I can do, though, is wait until they finish the ultrasounds. They'll confirm deep vein thrombosis, but they won't know that they have post syndrome. Then I pick this up, so they'll have to do an ultrasound a second time later. Very nefarious. Let's go for some chest pains instead. Now, if we're smart, well, one thing we could do is actually, instead of focusing on only one system, focus on, like, two or three. And that would be a way for us to, um... That would be a, for a way for us to do as much damage as possible and prevent them from going to the emergency room. Now that they have finished with the ultrasound, let's go for the post syndrome. I probably do want to do some damage to the respiratory system, but the muscular system is definitely going to be taking a lot of damage from this uh, post going forward. We could kind of ramp up on that with some chronic muscle pain, and I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Let's start focusing on the muscular system then. We're going to go ahead and do that now. Could lead to a fibromyalgia which, uh, of course, does a huge amount of damage. Muscular dystrophy is not something we're going to be able to get unless we pick up the unlucky risk factor first. They're already working on things like hypertension and stuff. Um, they're going to prevent me from getting the brain aneurysm. If we can get the points together, I would happily do that. The answer is yes, we can. Got to make sure we grab these points before they finish the hypertension. There it is. Let's go ahead and give them a brain aneurysm. Now, remember that they are currently recovering on some stuff as well. So if we give them too many diseases... Uh, then there's a good chance that they are going to um, cure enough high-level stuff that they can just win. Potassium deficiency is going to be taken care of. To, to be told, though, that's not too big of a deal. I don't really care too much. A system has failed, which means everything else is going to start falling apart. Fibromyalgia would be pretty good. Does a lot of damage to a lot of things, including the nervous system and so on. We probably could do that. High cholesterol is now being treated. They're going for some of the cheap stuff, which does give them some recovery progress, but not an absolute ton. So I feel like they probably shouldn't be doing that. Chronic muscle cramp is on the way, and that's that's where I have to decide if we're going to go for it. I think we will. Let's go ahead and grab the fibromyalgia, do some serious damage over there. What else do we want to take out? They have a lot of risk factors for the respiratory system. That is a thing that we could work on instead. We haven't done much damage up to this point, but... Whoops, I clicked off the game. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, there we go. Randomly evolved polycystic ovary syndrome. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, we could do this. Let's go ahead and grab the bronchitis. And I think we'll go for things like chronic bronchitis soon enough. We'll start doing some damage where I know I can do the most. 25% uh, recovery so far. Chronic muscle cramps going to be going away. They're doing the surgical exploration. They're looking for necrotizing fasciitis. 
I don't think that's what you need, though. That's not going to detect the fibromyalgia, so they've actually misdiagnosed. We've managed to confuse the AI at least once. That's pretty solid. Pneumothorax <laughs> would do an absolute ton of damage to the respiratory system, um, as well as the immune, but we don't care about the extra damage to the circulatory system. That doesn't help me in any meaningful way. I want to find more ways of doing damage to the muscular system. One way we could do that is probably to go for the chronic stress, which actually does a little damage to pretty much everything which I think is probably worth it. If we can get a second system to fall, that'd be great. We only have 100 days remaining to kill this patient, though. Jane Doe has got to die. So let's be quick here. Don't get too comfortable. I'm not too worried about them recovering. I'm actually worried about racing the clock and failing. So they are getting the fibromyalgia together. Okay. Um, is there anything else I could pick up that would be really good against uh, the muscular system? Leukemia would... Be good to throw off the AI, but wouldn't do much beyond that. Could go for, let's say, the kidney cysts, um, but that doesn't help me too much. Obviously, necrotizing fasciitis is really good, but is also really expensive. I can no longer get um, the pneumothorax. Irregular heartbeat won't do me much good. We're not going for heart attacks. I think I will go for the flu. We'll pick that up. Get some more damage done to the respiratory system. So that's taking a lot of hits here. Actually, the nervous system, believe it or not, is the one that's probably going to die first. Even though we don't have as many um, risk factors that are lending me uh, some assistance over there. But we might be able to help that along if we go for something like a nervous breakdown. This obviously affects a few things. Hmm. Are they going to be able to save the muscular system by getting this fibromyalgia test? I don't think they can do it fast enough. So that's about to fall. Okay, good, good, good. Need a few more points to work with. Gotten a few. All right. So let's see. Two systems down. Um, they are actually actively curing the uh, mental issues because they did find the polycystic syndromes. Uh, we could go for the cervical cancer. I don't need to go for scleroderma. I don't need breast cancer. I don't need ovarian cancer. I mean, this does a lot of damage to the renal system. Actually, ovarian cancer would be really good. Nervous system and renal damage and some immune system damage. All of those working together could kill the patient off. They are at 35% health right now. I'm looking for ways that we can get some extra serious um, uh, nervous system damage. That's, that's ultimately what I think I want. So yeah, let's go ahead and pick up the ovarian cancer. This does a lot to a lot of things. And then um, if we can get Nervous Breakdown, that obviously does a fair bit as well. So we'll try for that in a little bit. But we're seeing a lot of damage being done in the nervous system now. I think we got him here, but we're getting a little bit down to the wire. 300 days, I think, is usually like the cap you would find in the campaigns to make you go fast. Like that's what introduces the biggest challenge. So uh, I feel like at 300 days, we're doing pretty good for ourselves. They're at 43% with the... Um, 43% with the uh, the cure, but that's okay. Let's go over some dementia. That obviously throws a lot more into the uh, picture as well. Nervous system's about to collapse. With three systems down, everything really is going down. I don't think they've done any cures in the respiratory system up to this point yet either. So that obviously helps. Wait, can we get H1N1? Uh, well, they're currently trying to cure the flu. Oh, never mind. The patient is dead, so the problem has resolved itself. Huzzah! 253 days. Yeah, that was, um, that did take a, a bit longer than I think I might have hoped for. Our score is certainly lower than it was for the life mode, but we also cured the patient pretty darn quickly. 49% recovery, obviously not great. You wish that you could see this being a bit lower, but oh well. Got a fair number of DNA points out of all this, or bio points, sorry. But overall, yeah, I mean, that was pretty good. Definitely a little bit challenging. The AI did their thing, but we outraced them because having all those risk factors is still stupidly, stupidly good. The only problem with going for the risk factor strategy is, of course, that does mean that you have a much slower start. And if you're against the clock, well, then you got to start making that push a little bit earlier. But that was fun. All right. Well, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notify bell. And I will see you guys next time.